Hey, welcome to the Contrib for You. I'm Ethan. Joining me today is my lovely wife Ashley. Today we're doing trailer action for Benediction trailer number one. If you want to see the trailer with us, think the description below. Um, I don't know what this is about. Neither do I. Maybe an indie movie. We'll see. Um, maybe like a like an early 1900 or 1920s mm -hmm. like college movie, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, No, I mean, not until I watch it. Okay, let's watch. Ladies and gentlemen, one of our greatest poets. <clears throat> Name? Sassoon Siegfried. Rank? Second Lieutenant. Disease? I've had some sort of breakdown. Your lot is with the ghosts of soldiers dead, and I am in the field where men must fight. Your duty lies in obeying orders. In the face of such slaughter, one cannot simply order one's conscience. Good morning, Doctor. We have a house magazine. I'm sure it would welcome a contribution. Well, I'll try to write something light and amusing. There's no need to go that far. Who is this extremely beautiful young man? Sassoon, Siegfried. Sounds Wagnerian. I'm anxious to meet our distinguished guest. All the fine young cannibals. What should I do about my hair? Have you considered topiary? It's one of the inconveniences of the shadow life we lead. Friends may come. Friends may go. Enemies are always faithful. Life goes slowly on. I'm trying to understand the enigma of other people. You're going to marry her. If the intention wasn't pure, I don't think I could go through with it. Purity is like virginity. As soon as you touch it, it becomes corrupt. Too afraid. Too inhibited. You are not alone. My whole future could depend on you. In my life, I feel as though I've been waiting for a catastrophe to happen. Most people live for the moment. You live for eternity. Looks really good. Mm -hmm. Like really, really good. It does. I mean, it's up my alley. I mean, it's not. Mm -hmm. It seems really interesting. It's actually something very compelling, different. Not different, but um. As World War One, which is really cool. It seems that he's a poet, mm -hmm. and just the words. He's not really a fighter. He's not really interested in fighting. It's just like his words sound like the music. You know, there's not much going on, but the, his words seem like a song. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes me, you know, it seems that he's in love with a certain yeah. guy. And he can't, he realizes that he can love someone else. But yeah, there's a part of him that has died mm -hmm. that wants to be awakened again. Yeah. And so, like, that seems like a very moody yeah. film. Yeah. And words. Yeah. I'm excited for this. I see this as, a, like, a piece of art. Mm hmm Yeah. Every stroke, every word, every movement is a part of the story. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big uh, World War One buff. But um, I don't like when they use the footage from actual. the actual footage from the war because it's so it's so real that it kind of takes me out of the movie. Oh. I'm like, okay, it, it it contrasts too much. You know what I mean? Yeah. It 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 feels like news reels. It doesn't feel like legit. Like this is really happening. It. it I don't know. It just throws me off but when they do it. It seems like he can go back to war or. Something I'm a little confused right there, but I think they let him go. He could be a correspondent and like yeah. work behind the lines. But at the same time, there's this idea that I don't know if he's against the for the war. Yeah, he's he's kind of speaking out against it. Yeah, and he's like, that's you can't speak out against yeah, it. Yeah, so. you just gotta follow orders, which is back then was, for the war. Yeah. yeah. Um, tell us what you think in the comments. Leave a like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to leave a like. Leave a comment. 
and subscribe now.